This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We just want people to be patient and plan for some extra delays in this area. Phase two of the Southeast McCarran Boulevard widening project is in full swing, causing temporary lane closures during certain times of the project. Cone Zone tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Phase one of that project was completed back in 2012, and now the second and final phase started <laughs> in December. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for being with us, but it'll impact a lot of people. So let's show you exactly where construction is happening on McCarran. Phase two stretches about two and a half miles from Mira Loma Drive to Greg Street. Paul Nelson is live along that stretch of McCarran where the street has been narrowed down to about two lanes. Paul, is it making a mess of traffic or what? Well, it's not too bad, Kristen. Throughout most of the day, the traffic flowed pretty well, but it's a different situation during the morning and evening commutes. If you look behind me, you can see the traffic that's going southbound is really starting to back up, and that's also having an effect on some of the side streets like Greg Street. The lanes are closed right now while crews make room for the widening project. McCarran Boulevard's makeover continues, but a lot of the work on this major thoroughfare is not happening on the road, but next to it. There are some trees that are being removed. Uh, to make room for that, we have had a periodic lane closure here, and so that's why the traffic is down to just one lane at this moment. Cars travel in a single file line along a steady stream of orange road cones, one of the growing pains of improving transportation in this area. You know, traffic modeling shows that because this is an area that continues to grow, we need to be able to accommodate more traffic in the area. The $31 million project is funded by local fuel tax and the Nevada Department of Transportation. Once completed, the road will have three lanes going in each direction. In the meantime, there will be periodic lane closures and delays. People should really plan extra time with their trip. Be safe, always follow the speed limit in construction areas, and be sure to watch for pedestrians, including construction workers themselves. Large signs are posted warning drivers that the trip could be slow going, and some drivers choose to take alternate routes. RTC says the goal is to have minimal impact on the businesses along this stretch of McCarran, but there could be periodic driveway closures. All the businesses and everything in this area remain open and accessible, so I wouldn't discourage anyone from coming here to visit one of the businesses during this construction period. Privacy screens and sound walls will be installed for nearby residents. A pedestrian bridge will stretch across the Truckee River to go along with the detached bike path and sidewalks. We also expect that will have an improvement on safety when bicyclists and pedestrians are no longer as close to traffic and they have a detached separate space. And that pedestrian bridge will also have a steel mesh top over the top of it, and that'll look kind of like a tunnel. And the reason they're putting that in is to keep people from coming into contact with some of the bats that live in the area. Now, this construction work will probably last for most of the year. It'll end probably around November or December. Covering the Cone Zone Live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. <laughs> That's an interesting take on the bat.